Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to have a look at 31-bit subnet masks for point-to-point -point subnets. So, in the past, normally when we have a point-to-point -point network, we've used a slash 30. Um, so a slash 30 is two host addresses. However, it wastes two addresses. One is the subnet address and one is the broadcast address. So really, you're utilizing four addresses uh, when you could use a 32-bit, a 31-bit mask, excuse me, and get away with two addresses. So instead of having two host addresses like a slash 30, we use the subnet address and the broadcast address as the host addresses because we've only got two devices on there, so we really don't need, um, you know, additional things. We don't need to broadcast, for example. So let's see how that works. Um, so here we're gonna we have our two routers router one router two um they're both icx's so this is only supported slash 31s is only supported on the 7000 series uh, icx's it's not supported on the 6000s so 7250 7450 7750 um and so what i have is two interfaces one is a 10 100 1000 copper 111 um and we're going to put a slash 31 on there and then um we have a 10 gig interface, so just to show you, I'm going to put another slash 31 on there. So normally all four of these addresses would fit into a single slash 30, um, but in this case, that's that's not the case, right? So uh, we can actually use like 1.1.1.0 as a host address in this case, rather than the, you know, the network address as we normally would. All right, so. Uh, here we are on router one, so going to config T. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to interface E one slash one slash one, and I'm going to assign an IP IP address um, one dot one dot one dot zero slash thirty one. So normally, if this wasn't a slash thirty one, it would not allow me to um, put a a dot zero address onto an interface. Um, so then I'm going to go into interface E1 slash 2 slash 1 and assign IP address so our second subnet of 1.1.1.2 slash 31. Okay, so um, if I show IP route now, I see I have my two directly connected subnets. So uh, 0, so, so as that 0 network, there will be 0 and 1 as the two addresses. And the second subnet will be uh, dot two and dot three will be part of that subnet. So let me just move my console over to the second router. Okay, so here we are on router two, and we're going to do the same thing. So config t uh, interface e one 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 IP address um, one dot one dot one dot one slash thirty one and interface e one slash two slash one it's going to be IP address 1.1.1.3 slash 31. Okay, so if we look at the running config now, um, we see those have been uh, um, lengthened out to slash 31s, right? So it's 255, 255, 255, 254. Um, and so at this point, I should, uh, if I drop out here, I should be able to ping the remote side. So if this is working properly, I should be able to ping uh, 1.1.1.0, which I can, so there's a remote side. And uh, I should also be able to ping 1.1.1.2. Which I can. So there you go. So slash 30s uh, or slash 31s um, only utilize two addresses as opposed to the four addresses in a slash 30. Um, but they're obviously only for point-to-point. -point. You can't have any other devices than the two. Um, and uh, only supported on the 7000 series, at least as of now. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thanks for joining, and take care.